Dragon Ball Super has been expanding the lore of the Saiyans by introducing a universe in which their home planet was not destroyed. You probably know I'm talking about Universe 6, Kaba, Kale, Khalifa, and all of those Saiyans. Well, recently, Vegeta expressed a desire to go visit this planet and a newfound love for the Saiyan race. This really leads me to believe that the story is going to go to Universe 6, to Planet Sadal, and we are are going to get a Universe 6 Saiyan arc. We've got to talk about it. What is up YouTube? It's Josh. This is the Den of Nerds. If you love Dragon Ball, subscribe to the channel. We do all sorts of Dragon Ball videos on this channel. Rumors, theories, breakdowns, and all the like. Oh, and real quick, shout out to DBZ2002 who got the nerd card question correct on my Justice League video last night. Dude, you are on fire with these questions, always getting them right, and often the first one to answer, so thank you very much. I appreciate appreciate it and you definitely know your stuff when it comes to nerdy things now getting right into this video ever since way back in the day when we realized that Goku was in fact an alien and that his real name was Kakarot we have been fascinated by this Saiyan race it's been so interesting I remember going through Dragon Ball not thinking anything about aliens other than maybe King Piccolo who was pretty weird looking and I thought maybe could be alien but I didn't ever really continue contextualize what Goku could be. This was a kind of a mind-bending opening experience when in Dragon Ball Z we come to realize that he is from this alien race of pirates. Now in this arc we don't get a lot of time with the Saiyans as we've come to find out that their home planet was actually destroyed. So there's only a handful of Saiyans left and so we didn't ever dive deep into the lore or mythology behind them. That all changed when Universe 6 was introduced a couple arcs ago in Dragon Ball Super. Universe 6 is a universe parallel to our normal Dragon Ball universe which is Universe 7 and in Universe 6 their home planet was never destroyed. So the Saiyans were able to flourish and evolve in a completely different way than the Saiyans evolved on in our universe. They don't have tails anymore. They actually are a force for good and they seem to be a little bit weaker and yet at the same time have a much higher capacity to power up and gain potential. In that arc where they were introduced, Kaba and Vegeta fight and formulate a student master bond. This was such a cool moment for Vegeta and furthering his development as a character. In a very Vegeta way, he mentors young Kaba and tries to get him to understand how to transform, how to be stronger, and how to live the way Vegeta would say, as a true Saiyan. In episode 112, Vegeta continues this bond by saving Kaba from being ringed out and also telling him that even if Universe 6 is destroyed, Vegeta will win the tournament and wish them back. He wishes to go visit their king, which was a promise that Kaba made to Vegeta in the original Universe tournament arc. Vegeta also has a sick moment while standing back to back with Kakarot where he exclaims that it doesn't matter if Universe 6 gets erased if he wins the tournament. Saiyans will live on and Goku says yeah Vegeta and man it was such a cool moment a fanboy moment for me and you know I really believe that they wouldn't spend that much focus on the subject of Vegeta going to that universe and liking the Saiyans from Universe 6 unless we were actually going to go there in the story. I think this is going to be super cool for Vegeta fans as Vegeta is Saiyan royalty and he has, as I've said before, been going through amazing character development. This has a lot to do with his time on Earth, formulating a family with Balma, you know, continuing to learn and grow with Kakarot. Vegeta has come a long way. He's still the hard as nails Vegeta that we all know and love, but he cares about his family and his planet 
and his people. So it would be incredibly awesome to see him go to Universe 6 and sort of strengthen up the Saiyans there and perhaps understand how much power they actually have. It would be incredible if he became revered and respected among the people, perhaps reclaiming some of his royalty that disappeared when the majority of his race was destroyed. I think it could be a thing where the Saiyans are needed to unite and fight as some massive army with crazy Saiyan generals and all sorts of dopeness, perhaps as they're fighting some greater looming threat that threatens the entire multiverse. I am damn sure that we are going to get this Planet Sadal arc and that it is going to be pretty awesome. That's what I think, but what do you guys think? Please let me know in the comment section. Do you think we are going to get a Planet Sadal arc? Do you think Vegeta will reclaim some of his status as royalty and take somewhat control of the Saiyans in Universe 6? How do you think that's all going to go down? Are they going to be needed for some massive threat? Let's speculate. Let's Let's have some fun. Let's talk about it in the comment section below. All right, let's check that nerd card really quickly. I want to know what is the name of the Saiyan King in Universe 6? Kaba goes to this man before the Tournament of Power trying to enlist his help and that is their king. It was kind of a weird situation. I didn't expect him to be like that. What is the name of their king? Answer that question in the comment section below. As I always say, I hope you are having an awesome and nerdy day. See ya!